welcome to Edmonton Cricket TV episode 7. I'm your host Mick Ozzy. Well not many games of cricket were played over the past week. Only four divisions played T20 games and one division played T40 because of the rain. But we needed that rain here in Alberta with the crazy bushfires over the last month and then hopefully this rain will prevent more bushfires from happening. So I feel sorry for the people affected by the bushfires. Now, in the Elite T20, the player of Round 7 goes to Davinda Dehada of Guinea Memorial A. He took 4 for 21. In the Premier T20 division, the player of Round 7 was Zida Bajir of Elites A. He took 5 for 20. And in Division 3 T40, the player of Round 7 was Harinda Est of NMT, took 5 for 47. So the bowlers have the upper hand in players of the round so far. So if those three guys reply to my Facebook post of this show by Thursday midnight, they get $50. A hard out Thursday midnight. So let's now go to one of my featured games of the round. I went to two games. I got out early this weekend to avoid the rain. So I went out to the SCG, the St. Albert Cricket Ground, for Division 3 T40 Edmonton Lions B versus Shakti C. It was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoy these interviews and game highlights. So it's now two for 22 in the six. Oh, has he got him? He's got him, LBW. He did look plum. He's not happy, but he did. Oh, they all went up. And the umpire had no hesitation there. He's not happy, number 18. LBW is always controversial, but I have to say my initial opinion was the umpire was probably right as he was back in his crease. They're now three for 22. Poor oh, Edmonton Lions B are looking good. They got off to a nice start here bowling and fielding. Nice shot. Oh, he got a bad bounce. Luckily he got it. He got, oh, great action there. He would have been run out, I reckon, if the guy hit the wickets. There's his fielder, eh? He copped a bounce. It, it, it sprung right up on him just before it got to him, and he, I believe he fielded it with his shoulder brilliantly and then threw it at the stumps. It was entertaining here on Edmonton Cricket TV. Shaq TC are in a bit of trouble. Still three for 24. Nice shot. Nice shot through the gully, it won't go for four. Slow outfield, we had lots of rain this week and we need the rain because of the bushfires. As he comes in the bowl again. Short run, oh nice shot through the covers. Is it gonna go for four? There we go. Welcome to Edmonton Cricket TV, here with the captain of Shaq DC, Kartik. Now, how are you looking so far? Are you confident they got off to a a good start getting three early wickets, but you've recovered somewhat in the last few overs. Yeah, we are in a good shape right now, so I'm confident to uh, win this game. And uh, you're coming in next, or a couple I more wickets? Hope, I hope we have a couple players too. We can bat uh, earlier than me, so uh, hopefully I will no need to go there. They can finish the game right now. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. In a way, you want to get in, but in a way, you want the team to win as well. Exactly without too many loss of wickets. Now, how's your team going so far in this season? Uh, so far, so good. Uh, we lost a couple of uh, close games, uh, which we shouldn't, but it's, it's a play, right? So, uh, yeah, so it's going good so far, so, in the season. The other team, they like to appeal a lot. <laughs> they want to pressure the umpire, so they can appeal it. <laughs> and how long have you been playing cricket? Uh, I started last year. Uh, I played the whole season last year as a captain. Uh, this is my second season. Hopefully we'll go a couple more years. Uh, and before that, growing up, where did you play? Uh, I haven't played. I was just playing tennis. Okay? Uh, oh, yeah. I haven't gone in the season yet. Like I mean, in the leather ball. 
All right. Well, good luck. And uh, if you bat today, hope you make some runs and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you, though. Comes into bowl again, medium pace, right arm over the wicket. Nice shot there. Beautiful shot. For a single only though. Served a bit more, but there's a field of place right there. So good field placement. So as Mihal comes into bowl again, number 17. Oh, there we go. He's gone through the wicket keeper. He won't be happy with that. And they're going back for two runs. Needed runs, they got off to a slow start. So here with Vim for Shack TC, he's getting ready to go into bat. You're confident to make some runs today? Yeah, very confident. And you said you were about to open, but then they moved you down the order? No, I, uh, I chose not to go uh, open. I had to go to the pieces, so. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, how have you gone so far this season? Uh, this, this is just my second game. I was uh, going back home uh, for two, three weeks. I just got back yesterday. Oh, okay. And where's home? Uh, this is in England. Oh, back to England, did you? Yeah. You should be there now for the Ashes series. You're following yeah. that? Uh, I have to go back to work. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> good luck. They yeah, need you to you bat well because you've recovered a little bit in the last couple of overs. So, uh, yeah. good luck, mate. Yeah, thank you, thank you. All right. So, on the eighth over now, and here he is, Mihal. He's had a great game so far. Comes in the bowl again, the big fella. Nice high action. So Mihal, you made 51 off 45. You have happy with that? Yes, I am happy with that. And, and to the team. And you took a wicket as well? Yeah. And how many more overs you got to bowl? I have two more overs to bowl. Well, a couple more wickets, you might get player of the match. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> you might anyway with 51 runs. Comes in the bowl again, the big fella. Oh, defensive. So you're pretty confident, you made 165 and they're three out, so you're looking good at this stage. Yeah, it's a different ball though, if we are playing the Kookaburra ball, it's not the regular Duke's ball. Oh, so, is it? Yeah, it's, it's a, a little different game today. Is it a good ball, better than the other one? Uh, I like Duke's more. Do you? Okay. Nice shot. Yes, there has been a shortage of cricket balls as we've talked about on Edmonton Cricket TV, so they have the Kookaburra ball. Tempers are flaring here during the game. There's controversy of a couple of wickets or a recent wicket. Nah, it's all good. I'm sure they just love their cricket. But tempers are flaring here. Well, that sure was entertaining as the main umpire overruled the square leg umpire in a run out and the boys weren't happy. So the arguments were quite entertaining, but they're back playing now here. <laughs> Well, that was a lot of fun out at the SCG. Now, what's going on? No cricket today on a Sunday? What, a little bit of rain? <laughs> like pouring down all day, so all the games are cancelled. And yes, you definitely can't play cricket in the rain. Little bit of rain, but not heavy rain like this. Now, the final score was... Oh, Edmonton Lions B, as we said, 8 for 165 off 35 overs. And Shaq TC were all out for 123 off 29 overs. For Shaq TC, Yaish Hashadi made 37 off 43 balls. He was the top scorer. And JL Shah took four for 23, including one maiden. Now for the Edmonton Lions B, as we said, Mihal Palan made 51 of 45 balls and he took one for 30. But the player of the match, according to the EDCL Excellent app, is Merha Branhard, who took four for 18. Great effort. Now, I had a great chat to a former Secretary of Cricket Canada during the match and his name was Zafar Khan. He was Secretary for three years and he's also the founder and president of the Rising Stars Cricket Club. And he told me how they won four premierships in five years back in 2010 to 14. And it was the premier division back then, the top division. So great day. And I headed out early, especially because of the rain. So then I went down to Victoria Park and I filmed Strathcona B versus Titans A in Division 2 T40. So let's now go to some action from Victoria Park. 
Welcome to Edmonton Cricket TV. And we're out on the pitch here at Victoria Park. They did a lot of work this morning to get rid of some of the moisture. They have covers on here. The pitch is looking pretty hard. Carl just said to me, am I doing the key test? Remember the Tony Gregg cricket pitch report on Channel 9? And he says, you don't want to play off your back foot on this pitch. It's, uh, they call it turf, but it's, it's, it's not much grass on it. But the boys love playing here at Victoria Park. Guys, getting ready. Division two game, Titans A versus Strathcona B. Strathcona opening batsman preparing, getting a couple of little practice shots in. Oh, nice style. He's the other opening batsman preparing to go out and take on the Titans. As he comes into bowl, got a fairly long run up this fella for Titans A. Oh, nice shot. Four runs. To Strathcona. Oh, Edmonton Cricket TV. This week top catch, this week top bowler, this week top batsman. <laughs> we're taking our money, we're buying a drone. You reckon I should get a drone? Yeah, we should get a drone. Yeah. <laughs> As he comes in to bowl with Bamshi on strike. Oh, nice shot for a single. <laughs> Feller just reckons there's two batters. I say, yeah, I know the rules. So many Canadians have no idea about cricket rules, and that's why we're here to teach them. Nice run up. Big, strong fella. Nice bowl and action. Oh, that's a lucky run there. Bit of an edge. That's how you can get it. Oh, has he made a four? No. Oh, yes, it's gone for four. Oh, oh he wore it. He wore it in the... In the midriff, in the midriff. <laughs> lucky he's got a box oh, on. He's wearing a midriff. Well, he, lucky he's wearing a box. <laughs> Newcomers to cricket, a box is a uh, ball protector. See how he goes in this delivery. Oh, that's a nice ball. But no, he's way too far down the wicket for that to be an LBW decision. Got a bit of pace, this fella. Been a good over for him. They haven't scored. Oh, he's bowled him! Clean bowl, beautiful delivery there. And that is the first wicket out for Strathcona. Wow. See how he goes in this delivery. Oh, he's bowled him! Oh, he looks shocked. He doesn't know where that ball came from. Wow. Another great delivery there by the Titans bowler. And Scone in a bit of trouble here. As Muhammad Bam Preet comes into bowl, he'd be very happy with that wicket he got. Oh, he was a bit lucky there. Inside edge could have gone onto the wicket. But they get a single. As Muhammad Bam Preet comes in again. Bowling. Oh, another inside edge. That's two he's got in this over. Oh, a bit lucky. Oh! Oh, we're going to have some controversy here. Oh, he's got him out. Run out. Oh, bad mistake there. Yes, yeah, a good start here for the Titan boys as Skona, a three for 29 as Muhammad Manpreet bowls and there's a nice shot for four runs. Beautiful shot. We well, hope you enjoyed that action from Victoria Park. The game was washed out, unfortunately. Oh, what about the guy from Guyana? He was laughing at my commentary and we could hear him with some of his comments as well. He's coming up in the international cricket TV segment. Now, a bit more on the Strathcona guys. <laughs> well, a week or so ago, they uh, they won the game at Millwoods against Millwoods Punjab B. Millwoods Punjab B were 9 for 168 and Skona boys were 5 for 197. But they weren't happy. They dropped a lot of catches. So let's now go to a segment from Hicksy's Place on Saturday night. Hey, yeah. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Let me toss it. I, I, took, I, I made a half century with that. Yeah. Oh, you want, you want the ball? Yeah. 
I made a half century with that man. Do the honors. You scored 15 in that game? No, yeah, I, yeah. I got oh, hit for 15. Oh, oh, oh. So we're gonna lose a lot of balls this season. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta Alright guys, we gotta put it in the real hot pot you out there. He's back there. Yeah, I reckon just, just around there. Yeah. Is that it? It's gotta go, yeah. It's just gonna burn away. Yeah. So I got to Victoria Park on Saturday and just caught the end of the Division 3 T40 game where the Spartan Manners A defeated the Royal Bengal B. Spartan Manners A were 4 for 168 of 25 overs reduced due to rain while Royal Bangor were all out for 93 of 20.2 overs. So let's now go to an interview with Akash Shahan of Spartan Manners A, who is having an excellent season. Welcome to Edmonton Cricket TV here with Akash Shahan. Now you've been in form this year and today you made 96 of 82 balls. You must be very happy. Yeah, luckily the runs are coming on to the bat really nicely. Let's see. It was really a tough wicket to bat on today. The ball was really getting stuck wow. and it was keeping really low. But good for the team that I scored. So you had to prepare the wicket, get rid of some of the moisture in the rain because it rained pretty heavy, that correct? Yeah, definitely. Not, uh, not us, but we did help a uh, little bit to the guys who came in the morning, two of them, and they did a good job to uh, get their wicket ready for the match. And you had a good win over Royal Bengals today? It was a good win, yeah. It was. And it was reduced to 25 overs, correct? Yeah. Okay, at least we have a, we had a match because we we had a washout on Thursday. Right. So we were really looking forward for this match because we really wanted to stay on the top of the table. So it was a good match. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I interviewed Harshit, your captain, a few weeks ago. Now... You uh, made a, a century as well recently. Tell me about that. I did made a uh, did make a century on the very first game. After wow. that, we I didn't get any chance because we were chasing <laughs> in those games. Unfortunately, our captain he is not winning any toss, so we're not <laughs> getting any chance to bat first. Let's see. We did bat first today, and uh, yeah, it was good. Good for the team that the run came off. Well. Yeah. Awesome that you are playing fantastic and your team is doing well and great we got some games in today. We need the rain because of the bushfires, but the boys oh, love yeah. the cricket. Yeah. Great to meet you, man. Thank you. Likewise. Now let's talk some international cricket. And yes, Australia just won the first test of the Ashes series against the England team, the Pommies we call them. They won by two wickets with 27 balls left this morning. It was an amazing test match, and I've got to hand it to the Pommies. They're playing an aggressive style of test cricket, which makes it exciting. In the first innings, Joe Root made 118 for England. Nathan Lyon took four for 149 for Australia. In the first Innings that Australia batted, Kawaja made 141. Our boy Travis Head made 50. Broad took three for 23 for England. And Ollie Robinson took three for 55. How's that when he dissed uh, Kawaja? Kawaja made 141 and he still dissed him. That's not fair. Come on, mate. If he made a duck, give him shit. But hey, that's a bit rough. In the second innings... England, Joe Root made 46. Harry Brock made 46. Pat Cummins took four for 63. And Lyon took four for 80. In Australia's second innings, Kawaja again did well, made 65. Pat Cummins and Lyon saved the day with Pat Cummins making 44 not out. And Lyon as well batted to the end. for So a great win for Australia. Stuart Broad took three for 64. And Ollie Robinson took two for 43. And of course, man of the match was Kawaja for Australia. So great win by Australia. Very exciting. And test two is it the legendary famous Lords. Now let's go to uh, my buddy... From the Victoria Park, the schooner fan, talking about West Indies cricket. So you follow the West Indies, eh? Yeah. Who's some of your favourite players? Rohan Kaday. 
Yeah. Avin Kalichiran. What about Viv Richard? Ah, uh, yeah, he's a West Indian, so yeah, but he's an Antiguan, so. So you're from Guyana? Yeah. And who's some of your best Guyana players? Clive Lloyd, Frederick. Clive Lloyd. I already told you, Kadai, Butcher. Frederick. These guys, Colin Craft, uh, Carl Hooper. Oh, Guyana got a whole team. We should make our own test team next year. Frederick was an opener, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, Frederick was an opener. Yeah, excellent player. Actually, that guy coached me. He literally hold my hand <laughs> in like grade 10. Wow. And show me how to play cricket. Oh, back in the 70s and the 80s, West Indies uh, and Australia been, were the two best test teams. 70s, yeah, <laughs> I love watching the West Indies. They're big, fast bowlers. Viv Richards was a legend. Many legends for the Any West legends. Indies back in those days. I hope you enjoyed episode seven of Edmonton Cricket TV. Now coming up at the end of the show is the best players and the players of the round listed. So the players of the round with the two stars marked next to them, they receive $50 if they reply to my Facebook post of this show by Thursday midnight, a hard Thursday midnight. Hope you can also, below on YouTube, like, comment, share it, and hopefully share it amongst all the other cricket teams from Edmonton, their groups on Facebook, and that really helps promote the show. A lot of people know about it. Every time I go out, they go, oh, Mick, love the show. So a lot of people seeing it. But yeah, we want to get a lot more people watching it, of course. So the rain's cleared up, so we should get some cricket over the next week. But remember, the outfields are going to be wet, so maybe take a spare set of clothes because you might get wet fielding in the outfield. Have a great week, and I really hope you all do well in cricket.